And twice in one week, Customs and Border Protection agents in Arizona seized rainbow-colored fentanyl pills. On Wednesday, they found more than 15,000 pills strapped to a person's leg. And on Tuesday, they stopped a vehicle containing 250,000 fentanyl pills, 11 pounds of heroin, and 10 pounds of methamphetamine. Authorities are warning the candy lookalikes could be the start of a new trend targeting children. Florida Congressman Byron Donald Donalds joins me. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good to be with you. Nice to have you. Boy, I'll tell you, that's about as low as can be as if you're, if you're designing fentanyl drugs to look like candy and give to kids. It's like when, the, when ISIS used to put IEDs in toys and leave them in the streets of Mosul. Listen, this is a tragedy. It is destructive, but it goes to show you, number one, what the drug cartels will do to earn money in the United States by trafficking their narcotics in our streets, in our communities, and in our cities. But the second thing it shows is the terrible border policy of Joe Biden and Senate Democrats who refuse to lift a finger to secure our nation. Take a guy like Mark Kelly in Arizona. What has he done for the citizens of Arizona to protect their streets from fentanyl running all over Phoenix, running all over Tucson? It's outrageous. But you have Democrat members of Congress and Joe Biden who are silent because they would prefer to have open borders. And then the byproduct of open borders is fentanyl running roughshod all across America. Yeah, you know, that's the other interesting point. You talked about Mark Kelly. He's down in Arizona. But it's not just Arizona. I mean, you pick up, you, you go online, don't pick up papers anymore, but you go online, and it's, it's, it's poisoning every community from coast to coast. And it's all coming from what I read today, because I was studying up, and I didn't, just to make sure that I was, that I, my prior research was correct, is it's coming from China into Mexico into the United States. Yes, that's 100% correct. Uh, the fentanyl is actually being manufactured in China. The pills are being actually pressed in Mexico. There are drug labs in Mexico that are hard pressing these pills. And when you have a border policy, which is basically no border policy, it is easy for the drug cartel to traffic it into the United States. Fentanyl trafficking is up more than 1,000% since Joe Biden took office. And like I said before, you have Senate Democrats who will not say a word. They will not lift a finger, even though in every one of their states, fentanyl is the number one cause of death for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. Thank you, thank you. And I'm happy to take questions if that's what I'm supposed to do, Nance, whatever you want me to do.